Please tell me I'm not the only person who gets myself a Christmas gift. Another Christmas, another what I got for Christmas. It's a classic, a YouTube classic, so I've gotta keep the trend going. I've done a number of these through the years, and I don't know about any of you, but growing up, I loved watching these because as somebody who was uh, often bullied in school, who switched sc schools a lot, there was many years when I didn't have like a bunch of girlfriends to go back to school or to call on Christmas break and like talk about what we got for Christmas and Watching these videos growing up for me, like it felt like I was having that fun time with friends where we got to just like share in the excitement and the buzz of the holidays. So that's why I love these videos and I always have. And if you're anything like me, anything, anything like me, you're actually not watching this in 2022. You're watching this in like November, December, 2023, preparing for 2023 Christmas and trying to figure out what you want to put on your wish list. Give this video a thumbs up if I called you out correctly. As always, this video isn't meant to brag. Like I said, for me, these videos are super nostalgic and they feel like I am with friends, just being able to share in that excitement in ways that I didn't necessarily like have IRL always. So again, if that's you, I hope this video like brings you comfort and nostalgia and comment down below and share what you got. Um, I am well aware that this Christmas was a difficult one for many. Um, I mean, with inflation, it's insanity, but I am feeling so blessed and so fortunate, and I'm just really grateful to everybody who gave me a gift. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. I am wearing these PJs. If you've seen any of these videos before, you know that one of our family traditions is that on Christmas Eve, we open one gift, it's a pair of PJs, we wear it that night, and then we wear them on Christmas morning. These are mine. They are from, what is my new favorite pajama company? It's called Bedhead. They're pastel pink with like a bunch of food and drinks. Like, I don't know, waffles champagne and bottles, champagne. And waffle, there's breakfast, there's coffee, sunglasses. Oh, yeah. And they match my brand new bedroom. So I'm obsessed. I don't know about anybody else, but as I get older, I like cannot wear synthetic fabrics to sleep. Like I need to wear cotton or I sweat really bad. <laughs> so these are pure cotton. Uh, they're sustainably made. I love the designs and you can find them with like really good sales. I know that because I, I bought a couple on sale and you can get really good sales. So find them on sale. Anyways, let's go with stocking. As you guys know, we just moved. So we actually couldn't find my stocking this year. So we did a little improvisation and my mom found this like beautiful box that is so the vibe of my new place. It's light gray, right? Very light gray in the background. And then there's a very light pink. Uh, it's a car, like an old kind of fashion car. And then it's got gray wheels with a little bit of gold. And then a on top. Christmas tree on top. Yep. With a big bow, gold bow. So I think this is so cute and I will be using this as Christmas decor in my gray, gold, white, and pink bedroom. So, oh, this didn't fit in the stocking technically, but my mom brought these with us from LA because these are my favorite gluten-free cookies. They're Maxine's Heavenly, and I have already dived into this box. They're so yummy. If you're gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, any of that, these cookies, I'm not even usually a crunchy cookie gal, but like, they're spectacular. All right, then got, I don't know if this is the right way, but. This is my favorite mouthwash. It is the Hello Mouthwash. You can get it on Amazon. I'm honestly not sure where else you can get it. But I got the mouthwash as well as the floss. I like the charcoal floss the best. It's like the grippiest floss you'll ever use. It is my favorite floss. Always good to have that. My favorite melatonin, it's called Natural Factors. It is my absolute favorite melatonin. Always good to get a refill. I love like getting things I would need to buy anyways for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. Um, I got one of these Real Techniques. It's like the soft sponge for putting on pressed or lo sorry, loose powders to set. I tried this for the first time this year and I will never go back. This is so much better than using a brush. It makes my skin feel airbrushed. You can use it wet or dry, I use it dry. Um, and then on the Real Techniques train, I got one of these regular sponges for like foundation and concealer and stuff, and the little travel case. This is my favorite beauty sponge. It's such a good price and there is, I don't know, no reason to buy the more expensive ones. To me, this is the best beauty sponge, especially for the price point. I also 
have been really eager to try the, I'm gonna butcher this and my brother's French fiance is gonna cringe. Necessaire? Necessoir? Can you turn it the other way, Molly? Necessoir? <laughs> um, it is a natural deodorant that I've been seeing all over TikTok and I am super excited to give it a try. It's like a beautiful glass bottle. It's the eucalyptus scent, I believe, but it's very like light fragrant. Very eager to give this a go. And finally, a Terry's chocolate orange. We've had these in our stockings since we were little kids and I just, it's not Christmas without a Terry's chocolate orange in my life. Please comment if you are the same. Next I'll show you um, what I slash um, Santa got for me. You guys know I just moved and we had no Christmas decorations. We didn't even have a Christmas tree this year. Um, I wanted to get some kind of decorations to feel more festive this holiday season. And I got this, I'll try to put some B-roll in of how it like looks in the living room and stuff. Um, I got it on sale from Anthropology, and it's funny because I'd actually fallen in love with it in LA, but I didn't buy it because I didn't know if it would go with the place, but it actually went perfectly. It says, -la -la, la -la -la. and I got the matching blanket, which also says, the fall -la -la -la. it's gonna be really hard to show you guys, but I love this and it definitely helped bring some festive cheer to the living room. And I also got this one, oh, which is like really, really tactile. It feels like snow. Please tell me I'm not the only person who gets myself a Christmas gift. Please make me feel better about myself and comment down below if you got yourself a Christmas gift. I don't know, it's something I do every year. It's like little people doing snow angels and then the snowman in the middle doing it. And it's like, it feels like, I mean, it doesn't feel like snow because it's not cold and wet, but you know what I mean. It's like what you, what snow would feel like if snow was fabric. And then they're wearing little beaded pants and um, you can feel around their body where they're doing the snow angel. The snow is like flattened. It's adorable. I gotta make it look cute again. <laughs> so yeah, I had to pick up some pieces just to make this place feel festive. Oh, I got two other things. I got these trees. Again, they're really tactile. It's gold and white, right, Mom? It is gold and... No, sorry, that one is silver. Oh. Yeah, silver little balls, and it's got a snow effect. It's a brush, like a brush, the tree. It's so cute. And then I got this one for my bedroom, which has a pink ball on top. It's like a mini one. I just have it on my bedside table, so... That was my little Christmas gift to myself to decorate the new place. Let's get into what the boys got me. My boys, being Elton John and Galloper Gooseman, pitched in and they got me something very wonderful and I'm so grateful. Queen Lalabo. Lalabo makes my favorite perfumes. Um, I'm very scent sensitive. I get headaches a lot from fragrance. I use a lot of fragrance free products um, or fragrance like products with light fragrance. I love essential oils, those don't bother me, but synthetic fragrance can sometimes give me a headache, and Labo is one of the brands that does not give me a headache. They don't have um, preservatives in them, they're more natural, and I know I'm very basic, but Santal 33 is my favorite fragrance. It smells intoxicating to me. I love many of their fragrances, but the, the, the one that started it all was Santal 33. Um, it's just a very sentimental fragrance to me as well. And I, you guys know, if you watch me, that I live in two different cities. I live here in BC and I live in LA. And so the dogs, the boys, got this for me so that I have one here and my one in LA and I don't have to bring it back and forth. They, you can customize the label when you get them filled. Can you read what they put? They put, they're so sweet. They put the boys. The so, boys. It says the boys. And I will always remember that the boys got me this perfume. They are down there. Snoozing. Classic. And then Snoozing. Lavender, my cat, couldn't be left out the Lalabo train. And um, she thinks I'm a really dirty human, as cats do. Cats think humans are gross. So she got me, is this the right way? Yep. Nailed it. She got me the Lalabo hand soap for the kitchen. Uh, she likes to chill at the kitchen sink. I don't know why. So now she can chill with her Lalabo basil hand soap. And she's so fancy, but also thinks I'm dirty. So she's like, humans, wash your hands nasty. Don't touch me. Uh, next, I got this candle. It smells so good. Is it the lychee scent? That one is 
volcano. No, volcano. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, Capri Blue. Uh, yeah. It's the volcano Capri Blue. If you if you walk into an anthropology anywhere, this is what it smells like. It smells so good. I honestly uh, did not need another candle because I have so many, but I am a candle girly. I don't like Bath & Body Works candles. I don't like Bath & Body Works, period. That's like the type of fragrance that gives me really bad headaches. Um, so Anthropology is usually my favorite place to get candles from. And I will never be upset about being gifted a candle. Uh, I absolutely love it. And it's like an iridescent white, right, Mom? Yeah. Iridescent white. So it like shimmers different colors and it's very textural. I'm going to put it by my bedside table when I'm done burning one that's over there already. And I will be burning this with a cup of tea in hand in the evenings delightful oh that was from santa so thoughtful he's a sweetheart real sweetheart um i don't have anything from my brother and his fiance yet because they are backpacking in south america currently if you saw these videos with them you already know about that but yeah they're backpacking right now so i don't have anything from them so i just have one last gift to share with you guys is this the right way Mm -hmm. I'm freaking nailing it for the most part. <laughs> this is from my parents. They were so kind. Uh, for those who can't see, the box says Chanel. I never thought I would ever own something from Chanel. I think Chanel is absolutely beautiful, um, but it's very expensive, so I'm super grateful. My mom told me that she found a good sale on this, so we love a good sale, like, on Chanel. Amazing. Um, and... Basically, if you guys watched this video I did last year, um, I did it, I filmed it in December. I'm not sure when it went up though, but I, um, found these Fendi sunglasses at a, outlet? also on sale at like a Fendi outlet and they became my everyday sunglasses. You guys know them. You've seen them. I was wearing them constantly all year long. Basically the only sunglasses I would reach for. And about two months ago, I lost them. My dad's like, well, where did you lose them? And I'm like, dad, if I knew where I lost them, they would not be lost. <laughs> I lost them and I just stopped wearing sunglasses and that frustrates my parents because it's dangerous for me not to wear sunglasses as a blind person. Sure. I mean, it's dangerous for anybody not to, but especially for me because I have eyes that would be more prone to things. Um, and also it helps protect my eyes from like walking into things and stuff, dust from getting in them, all that kind of thing. Yeah, I just wasn't reaching for any sunglasses because I missed my Fendi ones so dang much. And my mom was searching high and low for them, could not find them, couldn't even find them to just like buy them again. And so she found these ones from Chanel that she felt like were similar enough. Is it quilted back here? Yeah. And then it says Chanel, Chanel. in tactile letters. Is yeah. it black? It's black. So when you see these, you'll see they look like they're in the vibe of those. They, these were the Fendi ones. I just miss them so much. They were really fun because they were white and black. So they went with every outfit and they were tactile. Like they had this, these bumps on the sides and these studs on the front. So she got these ones that are also white. They're a different shape. I'm also very picky about the depth of the lens. If they're too dark, it takes away all of my light perception. Even on the sunniest day, it takes me into complete darkness. So when they're too dark, most of the time I won't reach for them. So she was able to find these ones that are not too dark, but still dark enough that they're going to keep out the painful amount of light. I hope any of my blind folks understand what I'm saying. Like if they're too dark, it's not good. But if they're too light, it's also not good. You've got to find the happy middle, which can be really hard. And they have these tactile bumps on the side. So I can kind of feel. They're little pearls. They're little pearls. And then of course they have the little CC Chanel logo. Is it gold or silver? Gold. Fancy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they like- They suit you. These are gonna become my everyday sunglasses to take over from Fendi ones that I lost. And honestly, as devastated as I am with the Fendi ones, I got so much wear out of them. Like I wore them for almost a year straight every single day, all day. So hopefully I don't lose these ones. I've never lost a pair of sunglasses before. Have I? Never. Never. It's so upsetting. I think one. Do you remember one we lost? In Those were car? stolen. They yeah. were not lost. Yeah, they must have been it's stolen. Different. Yeah. I'm in love and I was so shocked and grateful to receive these. I had actually seen these sunglasses at a sunglass hut when I was hunting to find those Fendi sunglasses or to find a replacement for them and I tried them on and I just was very undecided and I didn't want to spend that much money around the holiday season when I'm like buying so much stuff for my condo and so I was very grateful that my parents got them for me. You deserve them. 
I just like to see you wearing sunglasses. Every time you were like, no. Every, I'd go out and I'd be like, oh, the sun hurts my eyes. And my mom would be like, did you bring sunglasses? And I'd be like, no. And she'd be like, why? And I'd be like, because I lost my favorite one. So now I have these. Thank you, mom and dad. You're so welcome, Molly. And oh my God, wait, the most special gift. Aww. Okay, I've saved the best for last. Ben Ben, if you know, you know. Mr. Ben Ben got me a Christmas tree ornament. A hedgehog. It's a sparkly hedgehog for my Christmas tree. And he's bronzy. He's beautiful. So I don't have a Christmas tree this year, but next year this will be front and center on my Christmas tree. So Ben is here to celebrate every Christmas with me. In case you don't know, I had a guide dog named Ben Ben, uh, Benix, and I had him for eight months. And unfortunately he developed an issue and was unable to continue to work. And um, he is living with his original family again, but he was extremely special to me. And his favorite thing in the world was his hedgehog toys. He had multiple. It was his first toy he fell in love with. He would sleep with it, cuddle with it. He just loved it. And now his hedgehog is with me in a different form. So this is extremely special to me, very sentimental. I mean, I'm not, he didn't, he didn't, to be clear, Ben Ben didn't send this to me in the mail, but you know. <laughs> My parents found it, uh -huh. and Ben Ben gave it to me in spirit. Yay! Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I am sending you all the good vibes and joy heading into 2023. I know 2022 has been an extremely rough year for my family and I. I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in my next video coming out, which will be my last video of 2022. Thank God the year is almost over. Um, but it's certainly ending on a better note than it began. is. Or, we're we're in the upswing. Yeah. We're in the upswing, and I hope all of you are too. I'm sending you so much love and positivity and joy this holiday season. And uh, thank you for being in my life, even through the ups and downs that we've had this past year. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. So till next year, you can click over here if you want to see my last what I got for Christmas, or over here, I don't know, to watch this random video of mine. <laughs>